Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about ETH BTC. Um, it, I'm, I do, I make these videos um, somewhat regularly to indicate the, yeah, you know, which which of these two, Ethereum or Bitcoin, is going to outperform the other most likely. And we've been in a range now since July 22, pretty much. So it's just been moving sideways. Um, the wave count has been projecting for a while another low, which means that Bitcoin would outperform Ethereum, at least for a certain period. Um, this will change at some point, you know, with um, a C wave here to the upside, which should indicate that Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin, which often happens in bull runs. So at the moment, it seems like we are heading to the downside finally. It, it has been taking a while, but I haven't changed the count. So the idea is still that we came down in a wave W here on the 12th of October, peaked in an X wave triangle on the 14th of March. And then here I'm looking for this ABC structure to um, complete the Y wave. And it could be that we finally completed the A wave, the B wave, and this could be the start now of the C wave with the one, two setup. Um, to really confirm that, price needs to break below 0 0.0645, which is this swing low which was made on the 2nd of May. And then I would like to see it at least to go to, and I actually measured that before, 0 0.006. Yeah? So at least, but ideally lower. So that would mean if this high stays intact now and is not broken, um, which is above 0 0.007, yeah, as long as 0 0.0 or 0 0.07, as long as that is intact, not broken, this wave count is valid and it should mean that over the coming weeks, Bitcoin is going to outperform Ethereum, so Ethereum is underperforming. We've seen that in the last few days, Bitcoin is holding support really well, Ethereum not so much. Yeah, the move up was corrective and maybe we start now with an impulsive move here to the downside alternatively, but it wouldn't make a great difference. Um, alternatively, the wave B sits here, okay, but it wouldn't make a great difference. This actually came up a little bit too high for a wave two. I mean, it's not invalid, but quite high actually. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, maybe the B sits here, but it doesn't make a difference really in the short term here. So yeah, I just want to highlight that as long as that high stays intact, I'm going to go with this count. Um, confirmation of this count is if price or if it breaks below 0 0.064 and then it can head down lower. So that will be interesting now. So at the moment, it would suggest that ETH is going to underperform over Bitcoin. Well, that will change, but we finally need to, to mm -hmm. see this work out so far. Um, it's just been ranging for months and months okay so um, let's see if we finally get that flush and what that would mean is probably that bitcoin is going to lead the market a little bit um maybe that is going to be the signal of the start of a third wave rally we will see at the moment bitcoin is holding quite well also compared to other altcoins as you know yeah okay that's my update about eth btc hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.